Hey, folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. This video for Wednesday, January 4th, 2012, is sponsored by Realtick. All right, let's get right into the mix today. The markets have reversed course. After initially selling off, light volume has taken over, and the markets have started to float higher. Now, remember, the key is to recognize that the markets broke out yesterday. So based on that breakout, you should be looking for neutral to upside for the coming week, give or take a few days here and there. But overall, you should be looking for more upside. And if we look at the daily chart, you can clearly see that breakout. And again, we'll just take a look at right, this right here. See this white trend line sloping down? If I zoom out look at where it comes from connect the pivot highs all the way down yesterday we got a gap over that that's called a river theory in the in the money stocks proprietary language ultimately telling us not only is it a breakout but we should continue to see some more upside initially today the markets did retrace back down notice the retrace low coincided with this pivot right here See the pivot high right there? So you retraced into support, reversed, and moved up nicely. So again, guys, that's a nice little move here. Markets continuing to slowly grind higher. Dow Jones Industrial Average up 17 points. NASDAQ up less than a point. S&P 500 also up less than a point. All right, now let's go back to the intraday chart. This is a key trend line the markets are fighting right now. Connect yesterday's highs, and where are we right now? Right at those same trend line, that right that, at that level. And that's telling us, again, that we're at resistance. Whether or not the market can break out by the end of the day is up in the air. Ultimately, I do think it will break up, even if it has to stall and pull back here just a little bit, which is kind of what it's doing right now. Uh, you do have the two moving averages starting to slope up. 20 is coming up underneath. That should also help the case for a maybe late-day breakout or tomorrow to the upside breakout. All right, And again, folks, you have to be on the side of optimism here in terms of the market only because of the light volume and because of what we're seeing on the charts in terms of the breakout. Now, a couple things to go over. First off, it's important to say last week, People were thinking market down early in the year here. Things weren't looking so good. People were bearish on oil. I was bullish on oil, bullish on the market, saying a breakout was in tune and on the horizon. Sure enough, those things that I predicted have come true. Our members here at In The Money Stocks have made a lot of money already in the new year, just in this one, two trading days over the last day or so on the January plays I've given out. I talked about it yesterday in the video. And again, reminder, you can follow me on Twitter at Gareth Soloway. All right, again, Gareth Soloway on Twitter. Come find me, follow me there. If you want to take it one step further, you take the seven-day free trial to the In The Money Stocks Research Center and Intraday Stock Chat. That's really how you're going to get the hardcore calls, live alerts getting sent out, you know, trade setups, the proprietary analysis, all that kind of stuff is inside the Research Center and inside the Intraday Stock Chat. Okay, let's take a look at some calls. First off, DANG, which I gave out last Friday at $5.25, has hit my first target. First target, what is it? It was $5.10, all right? And again, why do we know this? Well, if you just look back on the chart here, this was the alert right here on Friday. Here's Friday's action. It was a beautiful call, $4.25. Look at this chart. Again, we're up almost a dollar in two to three trading days from when I gave this alert out. All right, that's how good these January plays are. Ren was another one I talked about yesterday in the free video as well, intraday. This continues to be a great play. Uh, I gave it out here on the Hot Charts and Alerts, which is part of the Research Center, around the 335 time frame last Friday. Sure enough, it hit a high yesterday of 385, and is even hovering near the 370-plus level right now as we currently watch it. All right. Now, taking a look one step further, what are we looking at? First off, let's take a look at oil. Oil had a beautiful breakout. Take a look at this breakout on oil. Take this trend line. It almost looks like the spider's chart in terms of a trend line sloping down with a breakout above. Oil's pausing today, but I do think oil does go higher. All right. Ultimately, I think spot crude is probably going to head back to about $110 to $112 per barrel. Once we hit uh, 42 to 43 on the SPY, I'll be looking for shorts. If you're in the Research Center, if you're a member inside the Research Center, you will get that alert. When I take the short opportunity, when I see a major level hit, when I take a trade, I give out that alert. So again, no obligation. Take the seven-day free trial. Try it out here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. All right, a couple other things. Let's take a look at some random charts on some of the bigger plays out there, some of the main leaders. Uh, JP Morgan having a good day. We talked about this as a breakout Sunday night in the No Hype Live. And by the way, No Hype Live broadcasts are part of the Research Center as well. There's so many things that are included at InTheMoneyStocks.com underneath the Research Center. No Hype Live, it's a live broadcast where you ask questions, you view my charts live, we give you hardcore analysis, we give you trade setups, and that's, again, part of the Research Center. 
All right, again, you can see my charts live as I'm giving live analysis. It's priceless in terms of setting you, setting you up for the remainder of the week. We do it twice a week, and again, that's usually Sunday nights and Wednesday nights. There's one tonight, I think, at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, in addition, included in the Research Center, you're getting the technical analysis videos, daily market reports, hot charts and alerts, technical tactics, and much, much more included as well. And those give you trade setups and trades alerts and you name it, the proprietary technology and, and technical analysis that we have created here at TheMoneyStocks.com. Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs is kind of pausing today. Had a good day yesterday, but notice how it's right up into these moving averages. That's going to keep it under wraps for now. Let's take a look at Apple Computer. Apple Computer continues to advance higher. My belief is Apple's going to go back to 425. Once we get to 425, I think that might be the pivot top on it. But nonetheless, I do believe it is heading back there. All right, and again, you can see it slowly advancing off of a nice and spirit of bullish consolidation from the end of the year into 2012 and a little bit of an uptick there. All right, uh, what else do we want to take a look at today? Let's take a look at SMSI, which I gave out yesterday, folks, as a trade alert at around the 119 to 117 price range. Today it hit 137 as it continues to break out to the upside. It's a beautiful trade setup. I do believe this is going to continue to make moves to the upside as well, folks. It should continue to go higher. All right, so again, the target here, you got to be looking at a buck 75 easy on this, um, somewhere right around this gap fill area, 165, 175 area for short term target one. Target two would be a move over $2 on this SMSI, Smith Micro. All right, let's take a look again. A couple other things. The dollar today is higher, although the dollar is off the lows of the, of the highs of the day, which is helping the market. Remember, the markets will go inverse to the dollar. So initially, the markets were selling off, right? And why is that? Because the dollar was going higher. Then the dollar reversed course and has gone lower. What, is the, what, the, what have the markets done? They've reversed course and floated back up. So again, just keep in mind that that's the nature of the beast right now, the inverse relationship with the dollar. That's how the markets trade. Let me just go back to the spiders. Let's take one more look here. And again, you can still see that level, the breakout level on the SPY. It can't be taken out right now. It needs to consolidate, gain some strength. Markets are up quite a bit off their lows right now, even though they are you know, just on the flat line overall. But nonetheless, possible breakout later or tomorrow. That's what I expect in this market. And I do think we're going to head back on the SPY to the 129.50 level, probably by early next week, if not sooner. All right, guys, enough said. Go join the Research Center. Go join the Intraday Stock Chat. It's a seven-day free trial. There's no obligation. Again, you can join us here. Start getting the trades. I've given trades out every single day that have gone up and made people money so far in this new year and even last week. So there's more to come, more profits to be had. 2012 is going to be a fantastically volatile year, which is great for those who use the methodology here to the money stocks, which we will teach you. The volatility means we're going to be on the long side, then on the short side, the long side for a week, on the short side for a week, and so forth and just bank profits nonstop. Join us here at InTheMoneyStocks.com and start changing your life forever.